file new project and I'm going to go again to digital I'm going to go to flex again I'm going to put in my project uh, layout name because you can't change the name afterwards with a flex layout you can have as many layouts as you want but you can't change the names afterwards so I'm going to change that the grid is going to be fine the maximum width that's the width of an HDTV so that's a good max to have and the other options are fine okay it's going to create that and we'll see it's going to come up with the template browser from last time but I don't want that this time I want to have uh, the flex page the flex layout blocks and I want to have the flex object browser always have the object browser on when you're using flex now it is possible to create containers really from scratch like that uh, or indeed to just take any object and uh, right click or control click create flex and you'll see that it's now made a box inside a container in flex everything must be in a container otherwise flex doesn't know what to do with it it will behave strangely when it appears in the html website but actually in most cases it's better to use these blocks now these are not templates in the same way they are, are literally just blocks of code which quark has pre-populated for you in a way to make it easy to use so let's drag that across and this doesn't have any graphics or anything in there what it's got is it has the root container you get a little breadcrumb over here and then it's got the container the row and column let's look at that for a second on the object browser root container container row column you'll see that all of these are part of the root container if they're not part of that root container it will start to go wrong when it's in use the hierarchy is always container row column and then things are in the column they can also be directly in the container but you can't have a row in a column or a container in a row containers can contain other containers um, now that might be a bit confusing so let's start doing some things to it well, we're going to skip sections for a moment because this has already got these sections in there in fact if I was building really from scratch then I would put sections in right now but I'm not going to do that yet uh, instead what I'm going to do is go to basic and I'm going to put some text in there now this is where my title is going to go this has no padding or anything and if we go to uh, flex we'll see here where the padding goes uh, that there's nothing there now I, I can increase that uh, to maybe 15 which would be quite a good number but uh, rather than having to do that let's just delete that for a second uh, Quark's already prepared one with text padded so I'm going to put that in there now um, I'm going to put more text in there uh, and I'm also going to put a picture in there normally I'd always say to people sketch out a thumbnail sketch on paper before you start working on your website because otherwise you'll get hopelessly lost now I actually previously tried this website on an Intel Mac running Mojave right now I'm running uh, an M1 Max Mac on Monterey but I just wanted to make sure it works on both so I've already tried this out now before I go any further I want to go back to my root container because as well as containing other things containers can also have pictures so file uh, import and uh, I've just prepared some graphics here space background this is a, a, for a book called the winds of space it's a science fiction uh, novel and so obviously space is going to be the right thing if I go to picture box you'll see all of your regular picture things but if I go to container then you'll see background fill and I can do this in various ways fills can be fine for me but if I put enable parallax effect on then the stars will stay where they are while I scroll that can be a great effect for many things in the end I'll probably turn it off for this one but we'll see it in a minute you can't do that if you set the background in the export so last week we noticed by the export that we could set uh, the 
background, but you won't see it on the page. And if my text is white, it will be very unhelpful. And also you can't put the parallax effect on now. Let's put my title in there. And that's my headline. Now, as you can see, this is currently black. Uh, so let's go to window and because all of our text is going to be white, otherwise it'll make no sense. So we're going to do, go to style sheet and we're going to just make that text white. And uh, I don't want Helvetica, it's not really very science fiction-y. I'm going to go with a variable font, which I've pre-prepared called Amstelvar. Um, uh, and uh, here it is. So, and again, we want to make that bigger now. I'm going to expand this and you'll see that it will actually change the box size to suit. So probably that's a little bit too much. Now again, um, uh, we've got our Amstelvar there. So I maybe want to make that 18 points, I think, uh, because of the way websites respond to things. So again, I've got a little bit of text here. This is my teaser text for the website. And that goes in there. Let's make that just a little bit bigger. Uh, here we go. Okay, and now I want a picture, and I'm going to put this uh, space shuttle in, rather nifty one. Now this is a PNG file, and a PNG file, unlike a JPEG, can have transparency, which, as we're going to see in a moment when I turn off the uh, white background, is going to work very well with uh, that space background. Now, I, I probably don't really want to occupy as much of my precious screen space with it like that. So I'm going to, oops, didn't want to do that. Um, uh, I'm going to, let's take away that rotation there. I'm going to just reduce that. Again, I'll reduce the, the text size a little bit to suit with that. Um, so what I want to do next, well, um, I'm actually going to, before we go any further, just put a bit of animation on there. So window, HTML5, uh, and I'm going to animate this space shuttle, uh, science fiction shuttle, not a real one. Um, I'll double click to get on the, on the picture itself. I'm going to do animation, and I'm going to say we're going to rotate it clockwise for a duration of 360 seconds, um, we're going to loop it, and uh, we're going to do that as 360 degree rotation. So it's going to go right the way around. And for this text here, um, I'm going to uh, do, again, animation, uh, and I'm going to fade in 30 seconds duration. But I'm also going to just roll the angle a little bit as it moves out and scale it down to zero, and you'll see that happening when we get there. But we'll come back to that in a minute. Now, again, before I go any further, I want to set so control um, click or right click on a PC. Uh, I'm gonna do the export options, and this sets the uh, alt text, the, the it's a tag which is required in HTML5 for it to be compliant. So it's important to do that. Now let's come back down to uh, our sections. And I want a section which has got three columns uh, because when you minimize the size of the screen, uh, then the columns will stack up in threes, which is, is what I kind of want. And again, I'm going back to basic here. We, we could use some of these more fancy components. In fact, we will here. We, we're going to do three threes. Uh, and I'm just going to put some people's heads in those. Again, uh, you you'd want to do the alt tags for those. We'll just do one of those in a minute. I'm not going to do all of these uh, as it'll be. Uh, far too tedious but these are just some of the characters in the story um, and we actually would have nine of them uh, because apparently stories sell better if there were more characters you wouldn't believe it uh, so again we're going to do uh, control click or right click and we're going to go to um, actually we've got to actually be come back to here 
control click export options uh, and this is the name of the principal character uh, now he's got a funny Swedish letter there that should be okay uh, but you, again you want to check that with websites assume that stuff doesn't work unless you check that it does so check that it's actually working for your particular application because it may very very well may not now last week somebody asked is it possible to do slideshows well let's let's do one so um i'm gonna put again a picture in there uh where's my picture here it is no padding or anything uh and i'm going to just go back to that HTML5 and I'm going to put my slideshow in. Now, where am I getting them from? Add slides from picture files. Uh, so I've already got these ready and off it goes. So again, I want to make background none, otherwise it makes no sense. And I can just click through those and see how they appear. So clearly I'm going to want that a little bit bigger. Uh, to fill the screen nicely, a bit of a spaceship there, make that a little bit bigger as well, um, a bit of a space explosion, which I don't want to show everything, you've got to leave something to the imagination, and a smaller explosion, well, I'm going to do that like that, so they follow in that way. Um, and uh, we can uh, do this, various things to this, but I'm going to have fade rather than slide, so they just kind of fade in, uh, I'll allow interaction, I could turn that off. Um, and I'll also allow, allow full screen. So what have we got here? Um, we could do much, much more, but let's have a look at it right now because I think you're beginning to get the sense of a bespoke website rather than something which looks like it's been built with tables. Now, um, uh, okay, my, my text, we can see here is my, my text is gonna fade in and then go white and then fade out again as it disappears and that's that's to do with just the way I've, I've set this up uh, you'll again see that as I reduce the size of it those faces will stack up in groups of three and eventually it'll break it down but that's quite a nice effect and then again you see my slideshow here is, is just rolling away uh, and it's going to go back to that uh, galactic map in a second uh, of course, it's not the real galaxy, it's a, a science fiction galaxy. Uh, and then we're going to go on to that spaceship, which is doing what spaceships do. There it is, uh, in all its glory. And again, if I, if I reduce the size of that, now uh, you'll see it's got its own star background. And this parallax effect, which I talked about, it means the stars stay where they were as I change it. Now, actually... It doesn't really look quite as good as I thought it might. So I'm going to just go back uh, to the Quark file and we'll just go back to the root container and we will very simply turn off the parallax effect. We will preview again. You will find that you're doing a lot of previewing when you're constructing a website because uh, everything on a website which doesn't hasn't been checked to work, you can assume doesn't work. Uh, so now the the stars don't move, uh, which is a little bit better, uh, but the that out of control spaceship just rotating round just seems a bit more realistic. And if you can't read the text, uh, it says Mayday, Mayday! I'm drifting in space. Power is gone. Air is low. I'm cold and I'm alone. Mayday, Mayday! Oxygen running out. If this signal arrives too late, tell everyone. I love them, mayday, mayday. Uh, and again, we just want to check on that. We'll set it to loop so it just keeps coming back like a voice uh, from the void. We can keep on adding more sections onto the bottom of this page, uh, add as many sections as you want, uh, with all kinds of other things, planets, whatever, and that page will just scroll down and down and down. But when you come to view it, it will only ever have as much page as you've, as you've specified. So uh, it won't go off the bottom into other things and show that you haven't finished it. So again, that, that text is coming up there. It fades in, it fades out again. Uh, it's a teaser. If you want to give good information, then don't do effect. 
One thing I would say is that making it work is really important. Websites are about information. This one's a bit fussier and fancier because of the subject matter, but if there's a choice between doing an animation or not doing it, your tendency will be, let's do it. But in most cases, the website will be better as flat text. People generally do not have time for your uh, animation. I'm just gonna do one more refinement, which is I'm just gonna fade in that, uh, that title, just to refine it a little bit further, and then we're gonna stop. So again, preview. And there it goes. And then this other text just starts fading in. Uh, it's hard to read. Made in my I'm drifting in space. And you see that that ship's out of control there. Um, and already these are changing. A lot of things going on there. Uh, for most websites, I wouldn't want to be that fussy. But uh, hopefully that gives you some pictures of what you can do. Now, just to refresh us, everything must be in at least in the root container, it will be in containers. If you use these, then uh, you can uh, clearly make them work easily. But if you're going to create stuff uh, from scratch and you convert that into Flex, uh, it will not be in the right container to begin with. But if you just cut that, and go back to our root container here, you can paste that in, it will appear uh, in the right place uh, doing what it's doing. Um, and uh, there we have it.